During this presentation, we will discuss the various components of a healthy diet. Specifically, we will talk about carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. We will also demonstrate how to gather this information from a nutrition label. You should talk to your healthcare provider about dietary changes if you want to lose weight or if you have a chronic disease such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or heart disease. The first thing to look at when reading a food label is the serving size. This tells you how much of a particular food contains the amount of calories, carbohydrate, protein, fat, and nutrients that the label depicts. To have a healthy diet, you don't have to cut out the foods you like to eat, but understand how many servings of these foods you are eating. This food label is from a box of cereal, and as you can see, the serving size is one cup. If you don't have a measuring cup handy, a good comparison of one cup is the size of a fist. How many servings of cereal that can fit in a bowl you own might surprise you. Dishes today tend to be quite oversized, and filling a bowl or plate with food might result in you eating more than you intended to. Look at these two bowls of cereal. The first bowl of cereal looks like a good sized breakfast. But if you poured the same amount into a deeper cereal bowl, it looks significantly smaller. If you know how big your bowls are, you know approximately how many servings you are actually eating because looks can be deceiving. You should measure out some foods at home using measuring cups and put the food on or in your dishes to see what the various amounts of food look like. Understand you don't always have to limit yourself to one serving of a particular food, but you have to remember to take additional servings into account when you are adding up your total daily food intake. Now let's look at calories. Calories tell us how much energy we are getting from a food. We get energy from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Everyone needs calories, but the number we need each day depends on our age, gender, activity, and overall health. A woman who doesn't get exercise beyond normal day-to-day -day activities should eat between 1,600 and 2,000 calories per day and a man should eat 2,000 to 2,400 calories per day. Those who are more active and get regular vigorous exercise may need more energy to maintain their weight, so their calorie needs may be as high as 2,400 calories for women and 3,000 calories for men. As always, see your healthcare provider if you plan to make any big changes to your current diet. If you want a rough estimate of how many calories you should be eating daily, go to www.mypyramid.gov. Go to the right side menu and click on Get a Personalized Plan. As we continue looking at the food label, take note of the percentages listed along the right side. They represent the percent of total daily requirements for that particular nutrient. Just remember that those percentages are based off of a 2,000 calorie diet. Now let's take a look at carbohydrates. Recently, low carbohydrate diets, high in protein and fat, have become a pot loose weight. But it is important to remember that carbohydrates are necessary for good health. Carbohydrates provide our body with fuel. It needs to operate. But the amount we eat should be balanced with fats and proteins as well. A balanced diet is better than a low carbohydrate diet because your body needs proteins, fats, and carbohydrates to function at its best. You should have carbohydrates with every meal, but they should be within a defined daily amount which we will discuss. The amount of carbohydrate servings required each day varies based on the, their needs and caloric requirements. Look at this chart. We can determine how many servings of carbohydrates we need based on our daily calorie intake. For instance, if we are consuming 2,000 calories per day, we should eat no more than 17 carbohydrate servings. For people trying to lose weight who are consuming about 1,200 calories per day, they should eat about 11 servings of carbohydrates. So what is a carbohydrate serving? A carbohydrate serving is about 15 grams of carbohydrate.
As we can see in this food label, the amount of carbohydrate in our cereal is shown here in grams. In this case, there are 23 grams of carbohydrates in a cup of cereal. This chart shows you how to determine how many servings of carbohydrate are in a food based on the number of grams of total carbohydrate shown on the food label. Since 15 grams of carbs equals one carbohydrate serving, our cereal contains one and a half grams or one and a half servings of carbohydrates per one cup. The serving size listed on the top of the food label doesn't necessarily equal one carbohydrate serving. One cup is the serving size on the food label, and it contains 23 grams of carbohydrate, or one and one half carbohydrate servings. Remember, you can eat more or less than one single serving, but just make sure to keep track of how many carbohydrate servings you are eating so that you do not eat too much in one day. Sometimes it is helpful to make a chart and check off how many servings you have eaten. This will help you keep track throughout the day. For example, with a 2,000 calorie diet, we determined that we need 17 servings of carbohydrates per day. So when we eat one cup of cereal, we mark off our chart that we have eaten one and a half servings. A whole X is a serving. We know a half a serving by just the half of the X. If we decided to have two cups of the cereal, we would have three carbohydrate servings so we would mark off three spaces on our daily chart. This concludes part one of this presentation. Please continue on and watch part two for further discussion about the components of a healthy diet.